year, we had 16,000 African students in Ukraine. Nice, so we should be saying. Yes. English, okay. So you just go on this street oh. forward. Could be Italy. I remember they punched a certain black guy, a policeman in Ukraine, punched a certain black guy for nothing. He was shocked for nothing. Yes, so like I said earlier on, they consider white people before considering black people. And I'm talking to them now when the ambassador is on his way out of Ukraine, he's evacuating and someone has to assist them. And I ask them, tell me, do you really feel like you've been, because the stories are there, and I mean, the... Um, tradition of Russian disinformation and the, their war and uh, making the narrative out of that, it's also very big uh, and it has its uh, impact and we feel it. So I will not allow to uh, speak about my country being racist if it's never been a fact of that and I can prove it. Uh, I mean, clearly, we're all here. This is happening across the continent. We're engaging, uh, American diplomats are engaging with press to have conversations like this because we do deeply care. And even at the highest levels of the U.S. government, um, I can speak most intelligently about South Africa because I live here now. Uh, there has been frequent high-level engagement between the secretary and the minister, between both our presidents, at all levels across. This is uh, real recognition that in the, the new century, as it moves on, Africa is playing a larger and larger role, and the world expects that, of a, of a rising power, which is the continent here. And this is, in many ways, uh, the generation of young Africans that are coming up are the most educated, the smartest, they have um, access to tools like this, uh, that they can communicate with the rest of the world. Africa is entering upon the world scene, and that is a pillar of our foreign policy around around the world that we have to engage more and with Africa and it's a, a real force in international affairs. And uh, we speak both about assistance with uh, receiving Ukrainians uh, on the territories of uh, countries of the region, particularly in South Africa, but also because of the real war and and discriminate shelling and bombing of our territories. We have a lot of damage, not on, on infrastructure that's shown now in the news, but these are ordinary people who are injured or dying or they are blocked by uh, Russian troops. They don't have access to food, to basic needs. So all of that is needed. Any possible assistance of course, financial assistance is needed and will be needed even more after the end of the war because country like completely destroyed.